up? What's new, guys? Back with the fresh final review. Today we're doing something little marmity fresh. We're looking at a bunch, uh, well, not a bunch, but five marmot desu gojis. Five, 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 five. Bam. Okay. So these are, whoops, excuse me, table. These are the only five desu gojis that I have. I at one point had about eleven of them. Um, and I've since sold them. Basically, I turned old vinyl into new vinyl for something much bigger. But we'll talk about that at another point in time. Ah, okay. So, uh, basically, I had like five other ones. I sold them because they were just non-essential. One of them I almost wish I didn't sell because it really looked good. It was all black and gold glitter and everything. But it was like, eh, I could do without it. I kept the ones that were the must-haves. Okay. And that's what we're going to go through here. We're going to start from... You know, each one that I got in order, and they're almost in order from how I have them here, but also in order of how, when they came out, too. So I'm going to talk about the first two that I have over here, What just happens to be the, the two first Desugojis. You know, these were the first two. So this one over here, boom. This is the very first Desugoji that came out back in 2007. Mind you, all these Desugojis came in uh, bagged and header cards. Make sure you save all those Marmot staples. They will be worth uh, something one day when we run out of staples. Okay? So this is the very first one. This is started it all back in 2007. It is pa it basically the figure. It is a orange vinyl, blue highlights, blue-red highlights, basically, throughout the whole figure. Uh, teeth, toes, well, toes ain't painted. But the figure is injected with glitter, so it gives it a nice sense of depth in that paint job. Also, one of the things about this Desugoji and some of the earlier ones, it didn't have, it doesn't, it didn't start with the blotches on the chest, the legs, and the arms like later Desugojis seem to have, which is more of the consistent paint job on the many Desugojis that are out there, okay? So this one, it's got a really nice, unique paint job to it. Again, blues, orange, orangey red, and gold glitter. Eyes are basically red and black, okay? And that's something we'll talk about as we go through each figure. I was able to acquire this one from David Dopko's collection. He sold me this probably, I don't know, two, three years ago. Uh, and it was like a must-have. I really wanted to have the first two. So moving on to this one, this was actually my very first Desugoji that I bought. So I got this one actually in 2007 from Chibi Goji Toys. Dot com when Linda was ha she was really like pushing her website for sales uh, mostly you know with all Godzilla stuff so that was Chibi Goji toys but I bought this in 2000 2007 when it first came out 65 bucks ha huh. crazy 65 dollars so for those of you that collect Desigojis or that know about the prices when I say 65 dollars in 2007 mind blown right it'd be great if they were that much money to these days but we'll talk about pricing later. So this was my very first one. This was also my very first stylized figure. My first Sofubi piece, if we're going to call it that. I'd had nothing stylized before. There was a point in time. Actually, I'll save it for this when I talk about this one. But this was my very first one. This is the one that started the Desugoji, you know, popularity for myself when I started learning more about them, okay? So my very first one. The very first one. This one was actually the second Desugoji that came out. So I have one and two. Boom. Um, this one was released later in 2007 for probably another show or exclusive. And mind you, all these Desugojis usually come out at exclusive shows. They're exclusive and also very, very limited. Okay. So moving on to this one. This one is my absolute favorite for so many reasons. It's got an awesome paint job. It's got a crazy paint job. We're going to go. We got greens, orange, yellows. What else we got? Reds, all kinds of crazy colors, and gold glitter injected into it. There's also It also just happens to be a glow-in-the-dark figure. Let me tell you a little funny story about this figure when I bought it. I didn't know it glowed in the dark. I bought this from a comic book shop in Salem, Massachusetts, Harrison's Comics, for those of you who know it, um, for maybe $175 because that's what's on the tag on the bottom. Actually, maybe it was $195. I don't remember. It was definitely under $200 bucks that I paid for this, which is a great price even considering the time that I bought the figure. Not to mention, I also have it signed by Ken Pachiro Satsuma. Boom, that got signed at G-Fest uh, 25, along with me and my buddy James. We both got our signed together. So these were that, that was an awesome moment because James was hunting this one down for a long time. And I said if I ever died, he could have mine. But now that he has one, you could still have it if I die. So you could have two of them. Um, but I bought this figure on the 200 bucks. 
one day I was walking out of my collection room back whenever. Uh, probably I bought this maybe 2011 or 12. I don't remember. And I look back into the room and I'm like, what is that light over there? So I had to turn the lights back on and try to like refocus my eye direction and where the light was coming from. Turn it back off, turn it back on and turned it back off and walked into the room closer. And I realized that it was this figure and I'm like, holy shit, it glows in the dark. Like I've had the figure for probably over a year at the time. And I'm like, I didn't even know what the sun bitch glows in the dark. So even more dope. Very, very cool. It was also my very first glow in the dark figure. Now that I think about it. So awesome. Now, something I was going to say about, you know, back when I first got into the stylized stuff, mind you, this was the very first one. I remember there was a point in time, and I know I've talked to other collectors who felt about this, you know, in their evolution or evolving as a collector, that they we just didn't get these crazy color schemes. You know, and I, there was a point in time where I was like, like, that's stupid. Why does it look like that? Godzilla never looked like that. That's dumb. You know, but as I got older, you know, and started appreciating different collectibles, you know, and basically opening my mind to different things, I started appreciating what we had here. So to me, yeah, they're collectibles, but these are also a piece of art. They're a beautiful, like, you know, it takes some time to put a lot of work into this. They get something so unique. So pieces of art. Okay. I dig it. Very, very awesome. And close in the dark and it's signed by Satsuma. Boom. Okay. This one, G Fest 2014. This was exclusive to G-Fest. This wasn't a G-Fest exclusive, whatever we're going to call it, but it was exclusive to G-Fest. Mike Johnson had this commission through Marmot, um, so these were being sold through Mike Johnson at the convention, and it's, you know, an awesome Desugoji because it was not the first G-Fest exclusive, mind you, but very, very popular when this came out. There was only like 25 of them available for the show. Um, Mike actually had to, you know, you know, through, through popular demand, he was able to get a second run, but the second run, it's a little bit different. It varies from the paint job that we have here. This one, it's got grays, dark grays, light grays, reds, oranges throughout the whole figure. Nicely done. Excuse me, figures. Oh, this is, can't keep them that close, but it's got a little bit of translucency there to it too. So the whole figure is not completely covered in paint. This gives it a nice sense of depth. Awesome. I dig it. Do I have this autograph? No, I should get it autographed. Maybe I'll get Mike to sign it. Okay, so another G Fest exclusive or exclusive to G Fest. Another Desugoji. Duh. Uh, this one was exclusive to G Fest 25. Yeah, yeah, 25. So last G Fest, G Fest 25, uh, 2018. Desugoji. We got blacks, oranges, yellows, uh, most, yes. And what is up with the white colors on his toenails and the tail and everything? Oh, he glows in the dark too. Awesome. Another glow in the dark. So two, gl two glow in the dark Desagogis. Really, really cool. This one's got red and gold eyes. And again, all the figures, they, you know, usually their eyes have some kind of similar pattern to them. This one's got red and gold. So similar to that one. This one's red and, what do we got here? We got red and black. And then I believe these two were also red and black. Yeah. So um, really, really cool figures. This one's also signed by Ken Satsuma. So I had James and I both got our signed at the same time. So really, really cool. Now, something I will tell you is as far as protecting your autographs, it could be on any figure for that matter. You're going to want to get a, go to Walmart, get yourself a can of Krylon clear coat, and you want to just spray your figure, you know, take the tail off if you have to, whatever you got to bag this up, you know, protect the rest of the figure. You don't want to get overspray, but that's how you can protect the figure, the autograph, because if they don't use a black Sharpie, if they use silver or gold, that could tend to be a little tacky and this, the signature is going to smudge. It happened on a, a howler that I have. That's over there. I'll do another video on those ones. But that's signed by Satsuma also. I got a lot of Satsuma autographs. Wow. What do you know? What do you say? Anyway, so these are my five favorite Desugojis. These were my must-haves. Um, there are, like, so many of them out there. There's probably over 100. I don't know. You know, my buddy James has, like, 30, 31. Um, there's another guy on Instagram. I can't pronounce his username, but he did. he's got, like, a million of them. It's ridiculous. So they are probably the most popular marmot sculpt that exists. So the more and the prices, let's talk about the pricing. Like I told you, this was $65 when I bought it. 
This was under 200. This was, I believe, 150 at G Fest when, when this came out, 2014. This was 200. Aftermarket prices on eBay, Yahoo Japan, collectors groups, boom, skyrocket. Supply and demand. Why are they that much money? Supply and demand. A lot of people want them. Not that, you know, that's the demand. Supply, limited quantities. That's, you know, unfortunately, that's what makes prices skyrocket on certain figures when there's not that many of them that exist. So we've seen some figures go on Yahoo Japan for like $3,000. Ridiculous. More good for the person that sold it, but damn, you got to have deep pockets for some of this stuff. It's, it's crazy. Um, yeah, so, hmm, I love them. These are my top, well, my five Desugojis. I love them. They're awesome. Thank you, David, for this one. Thank you, Mike Johnson, for these two. Thank you, Chibi Goji Toys, for this one. Thank you, Harrison Comics, for this one. James, thank you for getting these autographed together. It was awesome. And um, bada bing, bada boom. They're fresh. They're awesome. And that's all I got to say about that. Remember, people, buy vinyl, fresh vinyl, and I'll see you on my next fresh vinyl review. Bam! <laughs>